What's going on, Welty family? Amar Gilo here. Abraham. All right, so check this out, guys. We have a special guest, but not only a special guest, he's part of our WellTube squad now, and he's part of our new instructor here at South Coast Welding Academy on evening shift, and that is Rosindo Rodriguez. Welcome, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Anytime, anytime. So um, check this out. We are working on today, Rosindo, on a 3G open route uphill step-by-step -step tutorial. Is that right? That's right. So you have a different method on the route pass. Uh -huh. I like to do the, um, the, uh, the uh, what is it called? The Christmas tree pattern, right? Mm -hmm. Abraham, you like to choke the rod in there, right? Kind of stitch, yeah. choke the rod Up in there. Up and down and choke the rod. Up and down, choke the rod. That's Abraham's. Oh, yeah. So what are you going to be doing today as far as uh, the root pass? You're kind of going to do a side to side I, motion? I got a little, a little uh, different method from y'all and it seems like it works to me. Okay. You know, it, it works pretty well and uh, it's a little side to side method. Okay. Uh, just make sure you push on the sides, you know, and it works. It works. Uh, okay. But hopefully this can help you guys out. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so again, that's why we're all here. Um, we all have different methods, so hopefully it can help you out. So I'm gonna let Rosendo take over, but before that, I heard about maybe two or three days ago that you served the Marines, am I correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. So you did two tours? I did two tours in the And you were there for four, for four years as far as uh, uh -huh. in the Marine Corps. Four Brother, years. we appreciate your service, man. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anytime, brother, anytime. Thank you. So appreciate we're gonna go ahead and get out. Me and Abraham, you take over. He's gonna give you step-by-step -step details, and we're gonna go from there. All right, guys. All right, once again, uh, welcome, WellTube family. My name is Rosendo Rodriguez, your uh, new instructor for the night shift. And uh, I got a, a half an inch plate right here that we're gonna work on. It's gonna be a 3G open route. We're gonna go uphill. And uh, well, on the route, I have a little different method of uh, doing my, my route. Uh, it's, a, it's a little side to side motion. Uh, yeah, there's, there's many different ways to do this. You know, you can do a Christmas tree, uh, you can do a uh, stitch up and down. Uh, but you know what, uh, this works for me. Side to side works for me. And uh, hopefully they can, this can uh, benefit you. Uh, let's give it a shot. Well, this is how we're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna start by cleaning, prepping our, our plate first. So we wanna make sure we get rid of all the, the mill scale on both sides. Uh, then again, we want a 332 gap and a 332 landing. Okay, so we want to tack all corners from the back side of the plate. Okay, we want to tack the corners and make sure there's no high and low. You don't want any high and low in the back. Okay, so after you're done tacking them, uh, you know, rub it with your hand, go uh, side to side, make sure there's uh, no rough uh, spots now on your temperatures. I want you to go from 70 to 80. To, for today, I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start with 75 on my route. But you can do it from anywhere from 70 to 80. Okay, now if it's going too hot, make sure you bring it down, okay? Now, if you see that your stick rod is sticking too much and you can't, you can't get it started, uh, turn it up. All right, don't be afraid to turn it up. Uh, but for today, we're gonna start with 75, okay? Like I said, I was gonna do a side to side motion. Now, uh, you're not gonna whip it side to side. It's not an actual, you know, whip back and forth. Uh, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the side, right? And I want you to press. You're gonna press for about two seconds. And then you're gonna go across and you're gonna press for two seconds. So you're pressing continuously, okay? So you're whipping across, you're pressing one, two. Go to the other side, you press one, two. Okay, but when you're doing this, you don't want to press too high above your puddle. Okay, so you're going to see your keyhole. You're actually going to see your keyhole above your puddle. So you're pressing, you're pressing on the corners, but right above your puddle. So you have your keyhole, your puddle down here. Now I want you to press on the corners right above the puddle. So you're pressing one, two, sweep, one, two. Sweep, one, two. And at the same time, you're building that keyhole. You don't want to go too high up. Once you start going too high up, you're going to miss your puddle, and you're not going to let it build up. And then once again, you don't want to press too low either, because you're going to start bring, uh, pushing your puddle down. And you're not going to let it build up. 
So you want to let it cool down on you. All right, once it starts closing up on you, go ahead and stop. All right, guys. So right now it's like a hot pass, pretty much. Once you start reaching the top of your party, you start pressing. One, two, 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 one, two. Now remember, make sure your stick rod is it's well placed on your stinger. You don't want it to move on you. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, we're doing again like a little mini hot pass. So we reach to that side, boom. Start pushing. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two. All right, make sure you're looking at your puddle, okay? If you can't see your puddle, make sure you move so you can see your puddle, how it's building up, okay? I'm still pausing on the wall, but underneath, I can see my puddle underneath. I can see it building up. Now, when you reach the top, make sure you continue to push. You don't want to just give up. Push, 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 push. There you go. All right, guys, listen up. We're going to start doing our hot pass fill and cap. Now, on our hot pass, we're going to use uh, a 7018 332 stick rod. And, uh, you know, there's many ways to do a, a, a hot pass also, but one of my good methods is uh, side to side. Uh, I know side to side can be a little dangerous because you can leave, you know, undercut. But what we're going to do uh, when we sweep across, you want to pause long enough to where that undercut is going to fill up. But now you have to be very careful because if you pause too long, then it's going to drip on you. So it's going to be a, a quick sweep to the side. You're going to pause uh, maybe about a second, second and a half, right? Sweep across the other side and pause uh, a second or second and a half. But make sure when you sweep across, you sweep fast enough to where you're not spending so much time in the middle and get that, that build up in the middle. Uh, so sweep across fast, pause, second, second and a half, sweep the other way fast, pause, a second, or second and a half. All right guys, 7018, 332, and our amps is gonna be at 90, okay? Temperature 90. Now, uh, you can do 90, 95, even, even 100, but be very careful because you're doing a hot pass, so you wanna make sure you don't blow through. Uh, before you do your hot pass, make sure your, your, your root is clean. Get all the trash out, uh, grind it down, wire wheel it if you have to. Do what you gotta do. Make sure you clean it good enough. Don't leave it too thin, because you don't wanna blow through. That's it. All right guys, so little tie-in right here. It's a nice little six. Make sure you get onto your, uh, your stop, do a little six on uh, wherever you stop, but uh, do it fast. It's a, it's a quick six, right, on your tie-in, quick six, and then continue your side to side. All right, so now see how we're going side to side. I'm still pausing for about a second, a second and a half. You want to give it time for that puddle to build up on you, okay? Now, I'm going to show you what you don't want to do, okay? Uh, what you don't want to do, you don't want to sweep slow like this. You don't want that slow sweep, all right? You saw it? So it's a quick sweep. Sweep, pause, sweep, pause, okay? Let your puddle build up on the sides, okay? There's no need to slow down in the middle because you're dropping metal continuously. Remember, when you arc your, your stick rod, you wanna arc it in front of you so that way you can burn uh, everything that uh, that you're leaving behind, okay? See how I'm sweeping right now? 
It's a quick sweep, remember. It's always gonna be a quick sweep. You're pausing on the walls, look. One, two. Uh, if you wanna count fast, yeah, it's gonna be uh, two seconds. Uh, other than that, it's gonna be uh, about a second or a second and a half, but I, I like counting fast. So look, one, two. 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 All right, you sweep uh, fast. Don't spend so much time in the middle. Start above it, quick six. Start pausing on the walls. Push, 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 push. Alright guys, so now we have it all filled, uh, nice and flush. So remember, if you have any uh, access buildup, uh, go ahead and grind it down. Try to have it as flat as possible. Okay, the 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 more flush, the you know the the more even it is, the the better quality cap you're going to get. Okay, so make sure it's nice and flush. Okay, nice and even. Okay, so now we're gonna cap it. All right, we're gonna do a three B cap. All right, our temperature is gonna be uh, at 90. So we're gonna keep it at 90 all the way from your, your hot pass, your fill, into a cap, okay? 7018, 332, let's do this. All right guys, so on our cap right here, okay, we're gonna do a little side to side motion, all right? You can either do circles if you want to, but when you, when you reach your wall, make sure you pause a little bit, all right? You want it to build up on you, on the, on the walls. If you don't do that, you're gonna get undercut. All right, guys. See, very, very small side to side. It almost looks like if I'm dragging it. That's why I call it the little fake circles or, or fake side to side. On your final cap, uh, you're still doing side to side, but now you're gonna pause on the wall, on the right side. When you reach to the other side, you don't wanna pause too long, all right? But you wanna pause on the, on the right wall. Make sure you pause enough to where it's filled so you don't get any undercut. Uh, whenever you do your last cap, make sure you uh, let your plate cool down. Let it cool down for about maybe 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, turn down the heat if, uh, if you want to or just let it cool down completely and you'll be ready to do your, your last cap with no undercut. All right, let's do this. All right, guys. Pause, 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 pause. It almost looks like a fun dragon. Give it a shot. You got your cap, your fill, your fill, your hot, and your, your root, okay? Uh, remember, there's different ways to do it. Uh, if you have uh, any excess on your, on your fill, go ahead and grind it down. Make it nice and flush. That way you're gonna have a nice cap. All right, well, two family, so here we have it. This is the uh, 3G open root. Uh, we're going vertical. So we did our root, hot pass, fill, and cap. Uh, your root was 6010, hot pass filling cap with 7018. Uh, remember guys, there's uh, different different ways to do this. Uh, this is not the only way to do it. So it's just a different method. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys. It helps me 
a lot, so I, I really recommend this. Give it a shot, see if you like it. You know, if you don't, it's good, try something different, okay? Please subscribe, comment, like us, like our page. Uh, hopefully it helps you out. Simplify.